Hey everyone, today we're diving into one of F1's most crucial technical aspects that continues to spark controversy in the 2025 season, ride height. Those spectacular sparks you see flying from under F1 cars aren't just for show. They reveal a critical battle in the ongoing technical war between teams that can make or break championship hopes. Let's explore what ride height is and why it remains a hot topic in F1. What is ride height? Ride height in Formula 1 is simply the distance between the bottom of the car and the track surface. Modern F1 cars run incredibly low, typically between 30 and 80 millimeters, about 1.2 to 3.1 inches. That's barely the height of a soda can. Why so low? The closer the car is to the ground, the better it can harness aerodynamic effects that literally suck the car to the track, giving drivers more grip through corners. The aerodynamic advantage. When an F1 car travels at speed, the floor isn't just a flat surface, it's a sophisticated aerodynamic device. The low ride height creates ground effect, turning the underside of the car into a vacuum cleaner. As air is forced through the narrow gap between the floor and track, it accelerates, creating lower pressure under the car than above it, effectively sucking the car downward. The delicate balance. Running too low risks, bottoming out, where the floor scrapes against the track. Disrupting airflow and causing sudden downforce loss. Damage to underfloor components. Penalties for excessive wear on the mandatory plank. Running too high means reduced ground effect, downforce, slower corner speeds, increased lap times. The Red Bull controversy that changed F1. The 2024 season saw a major technical controversy unfold around Red Bull's ride height system. The team admitted to having a ride height adjustment device on their RB20 car after rival teams alerted the FIA. The controversy centered around a device that could potentially adjust the T-tray or BIB, the leading edge of the floor, between qualifying and races, times when Parc Ferme rules prohibit such adjustments. Red Bull claimed the device was inaccessible once the car is fully assembled, but nevertheless agreed to make changes after discussions with the FIA. This technical dispute added further drama to the tight championship battle with McLaren that ultimately impacted the 2024 title fight. Ride height in the 2025 season. Ride height sensitivity remains a critical factor in the 2025 season. In the early races of 2025, we've seen teams like Haas struggle with aerodynamic inconsistency related to ride height sensitivity. Their car performed well at the smooth Shanghai circuit but struggled dramatically at bumpier tracks like Melbourne. The challenge for teams is finding the right balance for each circuit. Some tracks allow cars to run extremely low, while bumpier circuits force compromises in ride height settings. The Hamilton disqualification, when ride height goes wrong. The critical importance of ride height in modern F1 was dramatically highlighted in the 2025 Chinese Grand Prix when seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton was disqualified from the race. Post-race inspections found that the skid block under Hamilton's Ferrari was measured at 8.5 to 8.6 millimeters, falling below the minimum 9 millimeter thickness required by technical regulations. This measurement indicates the car was running too close to the ground, causing excessive wear on the protective plank. What makes this particularly noteworthy is that Hamilton had previously been disqualified for the exact same technical infringement at the 2023 United States Grand Prix when driving for Mercedes. This shows that even the most experienced teams and drivers can fall victim to the fine margins of ride height management. Ferrari later acknowledged they had misjudged the consumption by a small margin, highlighting the delicate balance teams face. Rumors also circulated that Ferrari had struggled with similar ride height issues at the Australian Grand Prix, where they reportedly raised the car height to avoid disqualification, a change that may have compromised their performance. The future of ride height in F1. Looking ahead to 2026, when new regulations come into effect, the FIA is moving away from the extreme ground effect aerodynamics of current cars. As FIA's head of single-seater matters, Nicholas Tombazas indicated, the next generation of F1 cars will be designed to run with more ground clearance. This addresses concerns from teams and drivers about the current generation's ultra-low ride heights, which cause performance instability and concerns over driver safety. Mercedes technical director James Allison has been vocal about the issues with current cars, stating it's not ideal to have cars operating with just millimeters of clearance from the ground. Ride height represents the cutting edge of F1's battle between performance and regulation. It shows how teams operate in the gray areas, always pushing boundaries for competitive advantage. The controversies around ride height will likely continue through the 2025 season, 
as teams find new ways to optimize their cars while staying within the rules. Understanding ride height helps you appreciate the incredible engineering behind these machines and the razor-thin margins separating victory from defeat in Formula One. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more F1 technical deep dives. Thanks for watching.